This is Fusion Build 3. Are we ready? I think we're ready. All right, so the first thing I'm noticing here is this one's in millimeters, so I gotta get into a new design and I need to change some dimensions. Grid settings, major would be 10 millimeters, minor subdivisions would be 10. And then let's make sure snap to grid is on. We'll turn our origin on. We may need to change this if it's not quite right. But let's put a sketch in here. Yeah, and I think that's gonna be fine for what we're doing in, ter in terms of grid snaps. So it's gonna snap every millimeter. We'll hide the origin and let's do it. All right, so the outer size here is 50 by 100. So let's start with our rectangle. Oh, it's still in inches. It's still in inches. So where do I need to change my snap to grid set increments? Grid and snaps. Grid settings. 10 millimeters. 10, 10. Okay. I want the document is still reporting in inches. So there has to be a way for me to change. Let's get out of sketch. There has to be a way for me to set document level settings here. And look at that, it's called, it's called document settings. Let's change it. Let's change it to millimeters. Love it. All right, y'all, I bet this is gonna work now. Let's make sure my grid settings are still correct. 10 millimeter, that looks good. Turn that origin back on. Let's just do it again. Let's just do it again. And this time it should be reporting in millimeters. Oh, that makes me so happy. All right, so that one is 50. And that one is 100. Finish that sketch. Let's turn off that origin. Let's zoom in. All right, now we need a height. Looks like I need a height of 65. So let's extrude 65 millimeters. Good. All right, let's do some slicing here. We could chamfer first, but I'm gonna save, I typically save these chamfers billets for the end. Um, so let's do some geometry slicing here. I'm gonna put sketch on the top here. And I wanna kinda trace this outline. So I know I need to come down 50 from here, so let's do that. Oh, I said 50, but that's not what I meant, I meant 15. Okay, so I come down 15. Now, how far over is this right here? Looks like it's 15 plus 15, which I know what 15 plus 15 is, but let's just pretend I forgot how to add those two numbers. You can do it right in, in uh, Fusion. Now, how about this dimension? That one's a little tricky. So looking at the other side, it looks like it's 46 inches, excuse me, millimeters off the back. Hmm, how do I wanna do that? Well, I'm gonna do a subtraction problem. I'm gonna say 50 minus 46 is four. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make myself a little guide. See that? I got this little guide off the edge. That's that little tiny lip right there. I'm gonna make a line segment. I'm gonna go down to there, love it. Then I could keep drawing and going across, or I could do my favorite thing in the whole world, which is, let's mirror. So I drew a mirror line, let's go to mirror. I want that and that and, well, that's not gonna work, right? That's okay, we'll add that in in a minute. So we'll mirror those two surfaces and then let's hit L for line segment here. And then let's do some trimming. That one I don't need, that one I don't need. And that one I don't need. Love it. Okay, now I have a surface and a surface. This one I'm gonna keep, this one I'm gonna cut. So how far down do I wanna go? It looks like I wanna go down to 15 off the bottom. So let's extrude. Down 65, that would go the whole way. So minus 65 plus 15. See what I did there? Looking good. All right, so it's gonna make this look cooler if I just go ahead and throw some fillets on here. Uh, let's select some edges here. Close the fillet tool. 
holding shift one, two, three, four. Then we'll go to the, oh no, I hid the fillet tool, cancel. All right, try that again. Holding shift, one, two, three, four. Let's grab the fillet. Let's make it a constant radius of 15 millimeters because that's what this thing says. And look at that, I got some fillets. All right, just a couple more things. I need to chamfer that, which might as well do that now. Chamfer is a typical, typical 15 millimeter chamfer. That looks nice. We got to cut that little hole through the side. So let's throw a sketch here and let's figure out, looks like the center of that circle is down 15 from the top and over 15 from the side. So I'm going to do this little implied section here. Notice those dotted lines. That's where I'm going to start my corner. And then 15, 15, love it. I'm gonna go to the circle tool, grab that intersection, and it says that is a 10 millimeter diameter hole. And I messed that up. So let's go back and we should be able to get that dimension tool. I do not wanna over constrain that. So probably double clicking. There we go, double click and did it. Change that to 10, love it, love it. All right, I'm not sure why that's still on my screen, but it probably goes away. Let's trim that stuff we don't need, get rid of it. A clean build is a happy build. Let's extrude through. All right, so that's sliced. Now we need some holes down here, let's do that. Should be able to mirror this. So let's throw our midpoint in knowing we're gonna mirror. And then that center of the circle, looks like it's another 15 in and 15 in. So let's do some implied edge here, love it. And then go to 15, tab 15. Grab our circle and it says the diameter of that is 12. So we'll type 12 and hit return. And then let's mirror that object across that line. Finish the sketch. Holding shift, select this, this, and, oh, I wish I would have trimmed. It's gonna be hard to select, got it. Let's extrude, cut, good. All right, so that's the easier parts. The last one is just figuring out how to cut this through. And this has two pieces of geometry, which, once you see it, you'll see it, but you may miss it at first. So let's throw a sketch on this surface. And we know we need to put a circle that's 25 inches up from the base with a radius of 12. It also needs to be in the middle. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go midpoint. And then I'm gonna do a rectangle from that corner to here. And it comes up 25. Okay, so that right there now is the center of my circle which has a radius of 12, which means it has a diameter of 24. And then how do I wanna do this next part? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a line segment from here to there and another line segment up. Oh, it just keeps wanting to make my line segments. Okay, so what this should allow me to do is grab a rectangle from here to here, love it. All right, so you may not be able to see this yet. I'm gonna start cutting some pieces away and then hopefully it'll be more obvious why I did that. Trim, 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 okay. So now I have this surface and this surface, holding shift, select one, two, didn't select both of them, try that again. Holding holding shift, one, two. Cut through the object and we're good to go. All right, I think that is build three.